I'm going to show you how to make a round dish scrubby. We are going to use the Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. This is um, a great um, yarn to use to make your scrubbies. It has this nice texture to it that really scrubs the dishes very nicely. Um, of course, it's not rough on your hands or anything either. And it is made out of 100% polyester, which is very nice because it dries very quickly. I know when you make the older dish rags, all we had was the cotton. And you would use that, and after a few times of using it and letting it dry, it would get a bit of an odor to it. Well, this, because it's 100% polyester, it dries quickly, and it doesn't hold the odors like that. So this is a really nice um, scrubby yarn that they came up with. I really like it. And the color I chose today is Zesty. I think it's a very, very pretty color. It has yellow, it has orange, it has pink. And I think that when it's finished, it's going to be a lot of fun to use. And if you're going to have to do dishes, you might as well make it fun and have nice bright colors. So let's go ahead and remove the label. And we're going to start. And to begin, we are going to ch chain four. But first we need our slip stitch. So let's go ahead and do our slip stitch. Okay, so there's our slip knot. I meant to say slip knot. But I'm sure everyone knew what I meant. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, so let's go ahead and do chain four. That's one two, three, four. Now we're going to go ahead and join it with a slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. Alright, so there is our middle hole right there. And we're going to do a chain two. And that chain two is going to count as our first double crochet. So let's do 11 more double crochets into the center of the ring. Okay, that's one. Well, that's two, because we're counting that. Three. Four. Five. Six. And I'm working my tail into the work, so we don't have, we, that way we don't have to weave it in afterwards. So that was six, so let's do seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so now we're going to join that with the slip stitch to close this round. And we're going to join that with the, to the top of that chain two that we did. We're going to join that with a slip stitch. Okay, so that is round one. Now let's move on to round two. And just to let you know, I did choose to use a size H or 8. It's a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And I think that's just the perfect size for this scrubby um, yarn. Okay, so round two. Let's go ahead and chain two. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do... You see where there's that space right here? And then you have the post... We're going to do two double crochets behind that post. So what you're going to do is you do a yarn over, insert the hook behind that post, just like this. And then you're going to do a yarn over and pull that through, and then do your double crochet. And then you're going to do a second double crochet behind that same post. Okay, so there's our two double crochets. Okay, so let's do... A double cro two double crochets behind this next post. So go ahead and do yarn over, insert the hook behind that post there, yarn over, pull that through, and now you have three hooks on three loops on your hook. Do yarn over, pull off the first two, yarn over, pull off the next two. Okay, and do a second double crochet behind that same post the same way. So that's two. We're gonna do two double crochets behind the post of each one here. So two double crochets on each one. Okay, so now yarn over and start it behind that post there. Do two double crochets again. And then the next one.
Okay, and then two double crochets behind the next post. So it's basically the same all the way around in this round two. We're doing two double crochets behind each post. Okay, two double crochets on that one. Okay, we're about halfway done here. Alright, two double crochets behind the next post. Okay, and then two behind the same, the next one. Sorry about that. Boy, this really does have some very pretty colors. I really like the way this is coming out. Okay, two double crochets behind this one. Nice and bright colors, nice and cherry. Alright, next two behind this one here. Okay, so now we have the next post is right there, so we're going to do two behind that one. Okay, and then there's two. There's one more. So we're going to do two behind that. Well, actually, I'm done with this round. Okay, so now go ahead and join it with a slip stitch to that one. Top of that first chain there. Okay, so now that's our second round. So now if I flip it over and you look at the other side, you can see where, because we inserted the hook behind the post, you can see where this raised, raised ridge right here, which will make it nice to scrub the dishes. Give it a nice texture. Okay, so now round three. Let's chain two. Do a double crochet in the same stitch, and then <clears throat> excuse me. Now you see how because we did two double crochets in each post, that's one of them, and that's the second one. Now we're going to insert the hook behind that post, but it looks like it's slightly behind that one instead of side by side. So you want to make sure you find that right behind it, and we're going to insert the hook behind that post, and we're going to do one double crochet. And then in the next post, right here, we're going to insert the hook behind that. And we're going to do two double crochets. Okay, and then you can see the next one, which looks like it's slightly behind that one. That is the next one. We want to do a yarn over, insert the hook behind that post. Yarn over, pull it through. Now you have your three loops, to, and go ahead and complete your double crochet. We're going to do one double crochet there, and then two double crochets behind the next one. Okay. Next one, do this one double crochet. And then there's your next post, so we're going to be inserting the hook behind there. Instead of inserting it into the stitch, we're going to insert it behind the post. So do two double crochets there. So you see, with this row, we're alternating. We're doing one double crochet, and then the next stitch, two double crochets. Next stitch, one double crochet, next stitch, two. So we're doing that all the way around. So the one, when you insert the hook behind this post that looks like it's behind the other one, that's just only one double crochet. And then the other post that's Looks like in front of that one, we're going to the hook behind that. We're doing two double crochets behind those ones. Okay, that's two. Okay, and then the next one, we're going to do one double crochet. And then two double crochets behind this one here. Okay, and then we're going to do one double crochet behind this one, and then two, and the next one.
Okay, and then we're going to do one double crochet behind the next post. Then two. Make sure we're inserting the hook behind the post. And then you work the two double crochets into that one. Okay, and there's the next one there, just slightly behind that one. That's where we do one double crochet. And then the next one we're going to do two double crochets. Okay, and the next one we're doing a single crochet. Just one, I mean a one double crochet, sorry, not a single crochet. That's a different stitch altogether. No, just one double crochet. I just meant doing one. And then behind this post we're going to do two double crochets. Try that again here, there we go. Okay, and then the next one, we're gonna do one double crochet. And then the next one, do two double crochets. Okay, and then the next one, that's that one that's slightly behind the other, we're doing one double crochet. And the next one, two double crochets. All right, then we're gonna join that with a slip stitch to the top of that first chain two space. And there, looks really good. If you turn it over, you can see how you have that ridge. That will help scrub your dishes really nicely, won't it? All right, now we're gonna do a round of single crochets. So go ahead and chain one, and we'll do a, a single crochet into each stitch. And it can be a little tricky to see the stitches, but if you turn it, you can see the V's, the V stitches, you know, like each stitch you can see the top. So go ahead and do a single crochet and every single one around. Okay, so I just did three, so I'm going to insert my hook into that first one I just did. And you see that tail that's hanging out a little bit? I'm going to just pull that through, and that's going to be my stitch marker. I mean, if you have a stitch marker, you can put it there, or a piece of yarn. But since I had the tail still there, I just pulled it through, so I know where. My row begin, or my round. Let's go ahead and just do a single crochet in every stitch around. Well, this shirt is very pretty. I like the colors. It almost makes me want to do my dishes. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> but, if you have to do dishes, you might as well make it fun. This will look very, very nice with my kitchen because I have wallpaper that has like a brick color so that orange will complement it really nicely. And it also has like beige, almost like a, like a yellow mustard color. So I think that the yellow will look very, very nice with that as well. So I think this will complement the kitchen colors that I have in my kitchen now very nicely. And these are great because they're machine washable. You don't necessarily have to put it in your dryer because, I mean, this polyester, it will dry very, very quickly. Okay, we're almost done. As you can see, there's that tail for my stitch marker. We just need to do a single crochet until we get to that one there. Okay, so almost there. Looks like one more. Okay, and then we're going to join that with the slip stitch to that first single crochet that we did. And that completes round three. Alright, so now we can fasten off. So let's go ahead and cut a nice little tail here so we can weave that in because we sure don't want it to unravel. So now let me go ahead and and set the hook back in. I'm going to do a yarn over and pull that through. Tighten that and fasten down. Fasten off. And now, if you turn it over, you can see like those 
where that's raised there in a circular pattern. That's the other side. That's where, that's because we worked in the back of the post, and I think it looks really nice. And it'll give it a nice texture to wash dishes with. All right, so now we want to weave in our loose tails. Make sure we don't want it to unravel on us. Okay, so I'm going to use this crochet needle here. It's a plastic needle. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and just cut that. I'm going to be careful not to cut my work. I sure don't want that to get ruined. All right, now I'm going to insert it here. I'm going to thread that right through here. There we go. And I'm going to weave this one in now. Well, that sure looks pretty. All right, so once you have your loose tails woven in, let's go ahead and cut that last little piece there. And look at that. We have completed our dish scrubby, and it's about the size, it fits in the palm of your hand, and that's just the perfect size. I think that's the perfect size to do the dishes with. And you can see this side's more of a flatter surface, and if you turn it over, you have those little circle ridges there. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today, and if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will subscribe, and that way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Until then, happy crocheting!